Hello, hello everybody! My name is Enrique and today I'm going to show you the best setting that you can use for your GoPro Hero 8. Let's do it! Basically what I do, I have four presets set on my camera, so whenever I want to shoot something I have them already saved into my GoPro and I'm going to show them to you. Number one is cinematic. Cinematic I shoot it at 4K, 60 frames per second. Normally when you are using a DSLR camera, the shutter speed has to be the double of your frame rate. So when you're shooting at 60 frames per second, I recommend using 120 in the shutter speed. But the GoPro make something really strange with this. Sometimes come too much light into the sensor, sometimes it's too little so light. So I will recommend leave it in auto for the GoPro. For every setting that you use, that you see here, they are all set in auto. There are three things that I leave the same for every setting that I use. The number one is the shutter speed, I always set it in auto for the GoPro. The second one is the ISO. The GoPro is an amazing camera for what it is, but it's not great at low light. So I set mine with a minimum of 100 ISO and with a maximum of 200. Because the more high your camera can go into the ISO mode, the more noise and grain you are going to have in your videos. And the number three is the color profile. Color profile, depending on the situation and how is your workflow, you want to change it. You can use the GoPro color that is really look good, looks great for what it is, but you don't have so much play in post to make a color correction about it or to apply some lots. So what I mostly do is to shot in, a, in the flat color profile of the GoPro. With this, can give you a lot more options to play with the colors, to make color correction in post, especially if you're using something like a Domer Premiere Pro, or if you're using the Final Cut Pro, uh, DaVinci Resolve, everything is great to color correct your videos. And this is the setting that I will recommend. But that you know, all these three things is going to be applied in all of the four settings that I use for my GoPro. Normally I edit my videos at 24 frames per second, so when I shoot in, in the cinematic at 60 frames, this gives me the possibility to half the speed of the video in the editing software to get this really nice slow motion and smooth b-roll on it. The second setting that I use is action. For action I mean when I want to shoot really fast pacing scenes, like for example I'm in, on the car, on my bike, skating, or a pet that is running around playing, something like this. I recommend to use 2.7K at 120 frames per second and the wide lens angle. Normally I shoot, for example, the cinematic. I think I forget to say it, but I use it with the linear mode. But for action scenes, I would really recommend the wide angle so you can see more of the background, more of what you're doing in that moment. Now, if you want to have this extremely beautiful slow motion, the setting for this is at 1080p, 240 frames per second. Again, with the bit rating high, sharpness on high. And I find amazing that a small camera like the GoPro can make all these frame rates. You are going to have some really smooth movement. Accordingly, you have to have a good light source for this. Because the frame taking this really fast pacing pictures, you are thinking, you are, this is taking 240 pictures every second, it's going to need to open and close so fast that you're going to really need to have a good light source for this, okay? And the last but not least is selfing or blogging preset. For this I like to put it at 4K, 24 frames per second, 12, 25 because I live in Europe, you know this already, I have to tell it already 20 times. Bitrate on high, sharpness on high, hyper smooth, turn on, so when you're walking around it looks more like you're having a gimbal, it looks more steady, it's not going to have all the shakiness that is going to distract a lot of people. And if you don't have an external microphone and you're using the built-in one and you're outside, I recommend you turning the wind mode on that is going to reduce the wind, it's going to, you are going to, you're also going to sound a little bit less powerful, but you can edit all of this in post. It's a short video, but that's pretty much it. These are the settings that I use for my GoPro. I think they work great for almost any situation that you want. I did not include anything about the time lapses or time wrap. 
that the GoPro makes. I think we can leave that for another video. So, guys, if you have not subscribed, subscribe already. I'm looking at you. Click that button. I know you want it. <laughs> I will really enjoy it. I will really appreciate it. So thank you very much. And click the like button if you like it. Dislike if you didn't like it. And like always, guys. See you on the next time. Bye-bye.